name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting down with Anton Bauga, who I'm sure many people recognize, and the ever wonderful Philippe Noir of Fun Forge. How are you guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you guys have brought us uh, your new game, Antoine, uh, Samurai Swords. Samurai Spirits. Samurai Spirits. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, they might have swords. One Spirits. One Spirits, yeah, a lot of swords. Yeah, you're right. So, so it's okay. But one Spirit for, spirit for all You know, I just got so excited, you know. It's one. <laughs> okay, so One Spirit, because this is a full cooperative game. So One Spirit for all the team, okay? Uh, the game is based on the movie from uh, Akira Kurosawa, Shichirin no Samurai, which is known as Seven, The Seven Samurai. And uh, it's a full cooperative game, you can play it up to seven players, of course, because it's based on Seven Samurai. Uh, it was a short game, maybe uh, half an hour, up to uh, 44, uh, 45 minutes that you play up to six or seven players. That's rather, you know, uh, short. Um, players are the samurai here, so you have seven samurai boards, of course. And uh, the pitch is the same as the movie. You are hired by the peasant and you want to protect their village against... The players are hired to defend the village against uh, brigands. I don't know the word you use in English. Yeah, brigands, yeah, totally. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah! So mm. those are cards, one, two, four. The one are the smallest one, and the four are the nasty, nasty, nasty Big beefy yeah. guys. <laughs> and uh, we make a, a pile, it goes here, here, here. And each player has the samurai, which uh, uh, fights track, okay? And you put your little palm here. Uh, one ability and uh, one uh, super samurai power, the chai power, okay? And uh, during the game, there are three things you want to defend. Uh, the man who fights with, uh, with you on, on the barracks, barricades, mm -hmm. okay? The farm, because you have to, you're supposed to defend the, the village. And the family, okay? Which are inside the village. So everybody gets uh, one of those, randomly, or you choose, whatever you want, okay? And uh, the game flow is very simple. You take turns in, uh, in clockwise order, okay? On your turns, you must play a card, and you can play a card uh, three ways. Uh, three ways, okay? You can reveal it, and you can choose to fight it. Then you put the card here, and you increase your marker on the track by the value. Same value. Very simple. Okay. Some cards have one of the three uh, symbols, so you can choose when you draw one of those to defend. You can put the card on the other side of the board, but you can only put one card of each kind during a round, ah. okay? And the game, uh, the game has three rounds. I uh, came to the theater. Okay. And the third way to play a card is to uh, keep it uh, secret, put it here, and to support one of your fellow samurai. Okay. And su support is to give your power to anybody else at the table. Ah. So on their next turn, they can use their ability and your ability on top of it, which allow you to make combos and to deal with uh, big problems uh, with appear. So the game flow is very simple. You have, you have to take one of the three actions, fight, put it on the on the on the right, defend if you can on the left, or uh, put it here to uh, support another another player. Then uh, on the track, there is one very important value is this one. If you manage to if you manage to reach exactly the value, so I draw a one and I can draw. Reaching this value allow you to use your superpower. Ah. Okay. So, for example, this one can take two cards from the from the draw pile and send them to the discard pile. So you don't need to fight those ones. Okay. And then you remove the card here and you go back on the track. So during one one round, you can eventually you can uh, uh, go with your superpower uh, maybe two, three, or, or four times. Okay. When the player managed to empty the, the pile, this is the end of, of the first round, okay? We see if every everybody has defended the village, okay? okay? So we see for every player, do, do we have the, the hat? Everybody uh, without the hat, take one wound, okay? Everybody without the farm, we remove a farm from the game, okay? If there are uh, no more farm on the village, you lose the game immediately, okay? And for uh, every uh, missing uh, doll, you remove one doll. And if there is no doll, also you lose the doll. And then you, re you reveal the doll you manage to save. 
And uh, those are little bonuses to help you. So this one will uh, add a barricade. This one will uh, uh, remove some card here. And this one will heal uh, any player at the table. Yeah. And the last thing you must do at the end of the round is see uh, how many cards you put here and turn them face up and see if there is a flame or not. Hi. If there's no flame, everything's fine. The brigand just came in but doesn't do, doesn't do any damage. If there is a flame, he managed to remove a barricade. If there's no barricade left, then it's a farm. Oh. And if there are no farm left, you lose. Okay? If uh, after that, if you are still in, in play, you can go to the second round. So you gather all the cards you use together, the ones you fall. And now, because you defeat the you know the, the food guys, they bring their their little bosses, okay? <laughs> their lieutenants. So for each player you will add one five card in the into the into the the pile. So the second round is uh, quite the same, but you have more cards to deal with. And harder cards. And, 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 and other cards too. So you do the same. And Somehow I'm guessing that pile of sixes yeah. is going to be for round three. <laughs> exactly. Same at the end of the round two, if you survive. Yeah. You have the sixes which are very mean with very uh, nasty uh, pen penalty, okay? And if at the uh, end of the third round you're still up with at least one form and at least one family, you win the game. But the game is hard. <laughs> so, really tough. Yeah, so on your first game, you likely will be uh, just crushed away by the. It's normal. <laughs> first and second. Yeah, maybe. maybe but, yeah. <laughs> it's quite of a technical game, so you need to you need to know all the, the the ability and the power to make the combo at the to support your your friends at the right time. And, and there is one important thing that Ansel didn't mention yet. It's the, the, yep. the way we handle the wounds, yep. which is one important timing element in the game. Yeah. Like I said, you can uh, be harmed during the during the game. The first time you take your wound, you just put a, a, a little marker. Okay. You bleed. Okay. That's bad. If you get uh, wounded again, you remove the token and. Okay. So I'm seeing it's harder to get up to your uh, your so, special power. So. The good news is it's uh, it's not that uh, it's harder. That you can uh, you can put more cards here, ah, which is important because is. because remember we had cards and you had to play them. So it's in fact it's better to have a big uh, track. And your power is oh, improved. It's improved you see, yes. You discard two cards. Now you discard three cards. So it's good to to take wounds. But next time you take a wound. Again, you put the marker on the on the board, and if you uh, if you get the fourth wound, you die. Oh, and there's so a catch. Lose. And if you die, everyone loses. So uh, one of the one of the thing of the game is you, you want to handle where you get transformed because you want to transform because it's good. But if you get transformed too early in the game, you risk to die before the end mm. and lose the game. So all the strategies of the game is to handle those, uh, those timing, you know? When I, when I fight, when I defend, when I take a wound, when I want to uh, try to avoid the wound, not to transform too, uh, too early in the game, and, and so on. Because once you have turned into an animal, you cannot reverse. Turn back. Uh, you just go near to death, so <laughs> you are powerful, but each wound is a, it's a step near. But it's really important to, to become an animal at some point because you have to handle the cards, as Antoine said, and one wound is, uh, ends when the pile is depleted. So you have to play all of the cards. And that's at the, uh, for the second and third rounds, you add more cards. So you it's need harder to, to get to the end. If nobody transforms in a game, you, 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 you can't win. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have any room to play all the, all the, all the pile. So you have to end up this when I transform, when I fight, when I defend, and so And I think we... Yeah, that's good. Well, Anton, thank you as always for stopping by to yep, show us sure. your latest and greatest. And Philippe, thank you for also for producing it. <laughs> and uh, good luck with the rest of the show. Yep, thank you very much.